Heat number two out in the water right now in this opening round. Griffin Colapinto, Sammy Pupo, as well as Maxime Husno. And I'm going to go to Jesse for your thoughts on this matchup. Pretty unique, but I, he has an affinity for tennis. Grew up watching tennis, and Serena Williams, a very influential woman on that tour. Here we go. In the barrel, this is Sammy Pupo, and completed. Nice start for Sammy. Samuel, a couple of turns to finish off. And for the 22-year-old, really nice first wave. Great foundation, Jesse. Fractional wave for uh, Sammy, but here we go with the replay, Pete. And he was right in the hole. Perfect positioning. You know, it was a nice smaller wave, but it had a nice round barrel, and he was able to exit out of it clean. Gets a couple turns to finish it up. Great start for him. Uh, it's our first real completed barrel in this uh, event so far in these two first two heats. So we'll see where it goes. It's not going to be a huge number being a smaller wave. And there's going to be some opportunity for some big barrels on those bigger set waves. So you got to keep that kind of part of the scale open. But uh, just look at this right behind it and just quick pump up underneath. Saw the opportunity there. I like how it stayed nice and round. And then he comes out nice and clean. Judges take note of those exits, you know, just a quick little shampoo. But straight through it good timing and then into a, straight into a you know combination of major moves two turns here at to finish this wave off and i uh, expect it to be a pretty you know solid number being probably in those that mid five ish is where i'd go with it but again we haven't seen any barrel scored yet huge inspiration for me so yeah it means a lot to have her on my back and yeah always thinking of her congratulations <laughs> thank you so much yeah good on ethan you and we saw sammy pupo he had a 5.83 on the previous ride and now talking about laying a foundation here jesse amazing air for um sammy right there nice critical section and just into the flat so hard to keep your board under your feet right there and keep the board flat so you have something to land on because he's going so upside down and straight into the the bottom of the wave so that was great 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 air for sammy clear intentions what scores at super tubos the barrel and the airs first two waves of the events and uh, he goes for it exactly what he knows is going to score good numbers. Look at the intentions of both these surfers as we see Maxime on his first wave. It was a very, very nice turn. Um, a little bit of whitewash going through, so it's hard for him to generate speed. We'll be waiting for that score. Here we go. Colapinto throws it out, throws it down, but catches the outside rail, goes down. Griffin Colapinto, our defending champ. So a 33rd on stop number two. Sammy Pupo, he's holding two 17ths right now, so he needs a good result as well. Here's Pupo, our heat leader. Throws that one away. Previous wave, though, for that air was a 5.67, so Samuel Pupo with a strong league right now. Colapinto throws it up, throws it down, spins it around, and that's going to be just stock standard for Griffin Colapinto. Just such an exciting story. And you see this first section there. It fell down, but it was a nice soft section, so he's able to just rotate around it with so, such ease. And so smooth as well, right? Like, tricky section. He was actually a little, a little bit too late, but he was able to put that rail, the, the tail very high and use the wind to help him out to actually get that extra lift. Um, and it's, you know, the fans, the Portuguese fans are so on it. Uh, it doesn't matter what the weather is going to be. Um, it doesn't at all. They're going to be down here in the mornings, cold, and uh, first heat. You got Slater first heat, so everybody ultimately got up pretty darn early this morning. Seven for Sammy, so ultimately knowing what's, what he needs to do to get it done. Colapinto. And oh wow. My gosh. That was a forced little nose pick reverse there to, to come out of that. And uh, that was a difficult wave, but gee, she made it work. That's what the best of the best do. They can take a wave with limited opportunity and still produce a number. It's so unique. I mean, again, nice peak here, first section. And again, it just dies out on them, but somehow finds a way to release the fins and rotate around with limited amount of speed. So creative, really creative. Really surfing on the nose through that to go, go complete, Jesse. Yeah, I think he actually had to adapt. Look how much the wave split right there. And he was, there's that big rip in the middle of it. And he had to use that front part of the board to release um, and disengage the fins so he could actually rotate. And then after just... You, you look for a certain style of wave. Here, another example. Griffin. No worries. Just the full, easy rotation out of it. Not, didn't have the, quite the amplitude probably, but look at the pop. And then the rotation, front foot flies forward, 
unique about Griffin, I think, that's different about his errors that I see is that he keeps his back foot still on the pad. We're touched by that organization. Yeah, and absolutely. Janice and you say Janice Aragon, but also you got to mention Galen Clifford too, and her her part of uh, the NSSA as well. So their partnership together has created an amazing NSSA, the National Scholastic Conservative Association. You think about Peter Town and, and the legacy that they started, and they've just kept that going for for many years. Who snow? Oh, goes for the slob there, but. Landing on the back of the wave. I like the intent for Maxime Husna trying to fight back in this heat. He's currently in third. Uh, all the way to the front of the board. There's that slob again for Maxime. And again, unable to ride out in front of the whitewater. Let's take a look here at this one here, Jesse, from uh, looks like Sammy Pupo. Yes, a lot of speed oh, down the line gosh. and just a huge air, so lofty into the flats. And unfortunately, he was so tall and he landed so far forward that it was just very hard for him to just stick to it, but a hey, great effort for him. That's the thing, he brings loft. Uh, and it's a, really, it was a kind of a, the creating the rivalry. Hold on, we'll get to it. Hold up, wait a minute, there's a slob again. Oof. But one more time, he wants incomplete. That. He wants that. He stomps that though, that's a big number. He, like I said, he pulls that one. Whoa, big float there. I mean, how did he carry all that speed into that section? This feels like it's gonna be, you know, bigger wave, two huge sections up and over and he did that more as a transition move knowing that that wave was moving down the line and he had to carry all that extra area to get to this section and he did it so well that's that combination of major moves uh, i like this way for griffin I the kick stall for sammy pupo in the barrel out of the barrel oh. hacks a turn there pupo one more time just a little tap dance to finish and a happy dance for sammy pupo likely to <laughs> increase upon his score line. He was able to idle, you know, see that going on. The st timing, perfect in the barrel. For his matchup and Maxime Husno again, oh. coming so close. Multiple air attempts for the French surfer, but unable to go out complete. And you know, it's getting a little bit loose out there. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Luisa. And again, you, know, you don't wear booties because you have such good grip. But uh, with that, when you spend a lot of time in the water, your feet get chilly. Um, I, and I wear booties a lot, and I don't wear them here. It's just at that level of coldness where you don't want to wear them. But uh, if you spend a lot of time in the water, it does end up getting cold. As we see another attempt, and... And fighting for <laughs> that finish for Griffin Colapinto is not going to get awarded with that. We also saw Sammy Pupo. They obviously looking for different waves. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great pickup right there. Colapinto puts it up, puts it down, full rotation for the surfer from San Clemente. Sniffing him the whole time, and here you see just what a great section, right? Timing it perfectly, perfect rotation, head going over the shoulders halfway through the, the turn, so that actually accelerates the speed of his rotation and makes him land forward. And I find myself, oh, let's, let's see um, Sammy here on this wave. Big section in front of Sammy Pupo, and... No change in the situation. I think it's, yeah, I think it's just very personal. And that's gonna make it official. There we go. There's the numbers. Colapinto, Pupo, move on. Husno into the elimination round. Coming up next, Italo Ferreira, Connor O'Leary, Ezekiel Lau.